to Reflections for anyone looking for just a little bit of church. My name is Andy Woolworth, a lay leader at St. James. And this week we hear Jesus testify to the greatness of John the Baptist. We are also reminded in Jesus's own words of the miracles that his presence brought to the world. A reading from Matthew's Gospel. When John heard in prison what the Messiah was doing, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? Jesus answered them, Go and tell John what you hear and see. The blind receive their sight. The lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised. And the poor have good news brought to them. And blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. As they went away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go into the wilderness to look at? A reed shaken by the wind? What then did you go out to see? Someone dressed in soft robes? Look, those who wear soft robes are in royal palaces. What then did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written, See, I am sending my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. Truly, I tell you, among those born of women, no one has arisen greater than John the Baptist. Yet the least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. Here ends the reading. My favorite line from this week's reading is, the blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the poor have good news brought to them. This passage reminds me why we are doing special things in this time of Advent, holding off as best we can the hustle and bustle and what I call Santa's nation of our holiday. We are attempting to read prayers and gospels, wear blue for those struggling for the, in this season, and imagine what is coming with the birth of Christ. Today, our imagination co can go even further by imagining what Christ coming into our lives and the lives of those whom we love can result in. Jesus can make each of us see and hear and walk and be cleansed of diseases and sins. He can even help us raise our loved ones from death and all the while bringing the good news to all the world. For while we immediately think of others when we hear these passages of the infirm, each of us are unable to clearly see and hear or walk straight without Jesus. We need to walk on straight paths and with Jesus' guidance, we can help others heal in spirit, if not in body, to the limits of our God-given capabilities. Filled with hope of a Christ child and with faith that Christ will be in our lives if we invite him into our home, we can do anything if our faith is just strong enough. This faith in our capabilities guided by a loving Jesus is just what I need as I remember the loss of my brother one year ago. Little Rick who never met his grandfather is in the picture behind me. And without faith, I would feel sorry for him, myself, and all of Rick's loved ones. 
but armed with faith, I can reach out to care for many who are touched, who were touched by Rick's gifts. With faith, I can keep looking in the sky each night for the brightest star, knowing that Rick is there carefully pointing me in a direction to be more loving to my neighbors and those I don't know, as well as my extended family. For sure, any loving actions will help others better see, better hear, and better walk. And I can keep my brother alive in the spirit of Jesus with my words and actions, with all whom I come in contact. If we believe in Jesus, and if we make our paths straight with him, we will accomplish more than our imaginations can fathom. We will indeed lead a great life like John the Baptist. So keep reading a gospel each week along with your prayers of repentance. Wear blue for those challenged in the holiday season. And then imagine what walking for a day with John and Jesus and for me, my brother Rick, and what it might be like. And while we imagine our talk with John and Jesus and Rick, let's work our way to a small manger in a little town called Bethlehem. Amen. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. My song choice this week is Christmas Hallelujah by Caleb and Kelsey. The visual support to the lyrics is beautiful. Enjoy. 